introduction. You're reading this book because you want to improve your poker game. I know all too well how that goes. When I began poker, I was constantly searching for the tricks the pros were using to win, convinced they had to be hidden away somewhere. I tore through books like this one, expecting to uncover clever ways to play draws, sneaky bluffs that no one knew about, or maybe the secret to handling aggressive players or three-bet pots. Deep down, I hoped that some hand, theory, or principle would suddenly illuminate everything I couldn't see. But that moment of revelation never came. And with time and experience, I learned that this wasn't for lack of trying. If there is a secret in poker, it is this. The way is as hard, rigorous, and disenchanting as the way has ever been. I have met and taught hundreds of poker players during my time as a professional, and I have never met one whose game was transformed to a high level by merely reading a book. That's just not the way that poker works. You can seek out books claiming to teach you such things, but I suspect that, after working through them, you will find yourself right where you started. The aim of this book, then, is not to make you better at poker. Instead, it is to make you a better poker player. What do I mean? Someone once told me, nobody teaches us how to be poker players. We are taught strategy, how to read hands, how to size bets, but being a poker player requires more than that. Poker is an isolating and confusing profession. The moment you sit down at a poker table, you are submerged in a profoundly backward and contradictory culture. I asked myself one fundamental question when I decided to write this book. If I could go back eight years to when I was just beginning my exploration into poker, what would I tell my 16-year-old self? What have I learned that he needs to know? What are the most valuable ideas that would equip him for the long and maddening journey ahead? If you want to better understand what it means to be a poker player, this book is for you. You may not be ready to absorb all of the ideas and perspectives presented here, that's okay. I wasn't either the first time I heard them, and I heard them many times from many different people before they were ingrained in me. Chances are it will take someone else, maybe a year or two down the road, perhaps a friend, a mentor, a stranger, telling you the same thing before it convinces you. And who knows, some of these ideas may be wrong for you. That's okay. It's part of the process. But let this book be a step in your journey, and even if it does not change your beliefs or your perspectives on the world or on poker, trust that it will help, whether or not you agree with it. Trust that it has a place in your process. I want to remind you that your life as a poker player is a journey. Treating it as anything less is a disservice to yourself. Everything that I write, I write because I want you to thrive and grow from this journey. That said, you don't need to be a professional to understand the contents of this book. It is written to be useful to all ranges of players, from high-stakes professionals to those just curious about the game. What is poker to you? Is it an interest? A hobby? A passion? Is it your calling? Think carefully about this. This is where it all begins.